We're going to talk about how to change the mainspring or the hammer spring, as some call it, in a 1911 or 2011. Um, so the scenario here is, is you're getting light strikes. Maybe you've got a supply of primers that are harder than, than what you're used to. Uh, maybe you've uh, gone too light on your spring. We need to put more spring back in there. There are typically um, three or four poundages of mainspring that you see in 1911s. Um, in 9 millimeter, 40, 45. Uh, those are 15, 17, and 19. Um, it is not my recommendation personally that, that you use a 15 pound spring unless you've reduced every bit of friction in the gun and you're using a very light primer. And even then, I don't see any reason to go there. It does not make the trigger pull that much better. Uh, in some of our guns, we run 17 pound springs. In our 40 caliber 2011s, we tend to be able to get by with that. I personally found that in a 9mm or 45 caliber 1911 uh, that I prefer a 19 because it will run any ammo that I throw at the pistol, whether it's factory ammo, hard primers, soft primers, uh, I get a more reliable ignition and not that much worse of a trigger pull uh, by making uh, that spring choice. Uh, regardless of which spring you get, and we have springs from ISMI, uh, Wolf, uh, they're, 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 they're all uh, good solid springs out there. Wilson Combat uh, also uh, uh, sells a 19 pound mainspring. Uh, so uh, regardless of which spring that you choose, uh, I'm going to show you how to put it in and I'm going to show you a, a quick shortcut. Uh, if you're uh, a 1911 novice, this will come in handy. Uh, you experts may not care, but let me show you. First thing that we're going to do is I'm going to have to remove my grips because I have a pen covered set of grips on here. For those of you who don't have a pen set covered set of grips, you won't need to do this step, but literally I'm removing the grip screws and the grips from both sides of the pistol. All right, that gives me access to the pen. Like I said, if your grips don't have this corner on them, then you'll already have access to that pen. I'm going to take a round end punch, and I'm going to knock that pen out. But before I do, I'm going to show you a, a trick that I use to not have to change the sear spring, to not have to take the sear spring out, or to not have to uh, wiggle the sear spring back into play. And that is, I'm going to take a, a common rubber band and depress the grip safety with it. You'll see in a few moments why that helps me. All right. So I'm going to knock the pen out. And I'm going to remove the mainspring housing. This one has a magwell attached to it. Yours may or may not. The reason that I've used the rubber band to depress my grip safety is, is it's going to keep my hammer strut and my sear spring in play. So I don't have to have those come out and then get that sear spring back in there just right. Uh, so this is, this is just a, a little tip that, that I picked up some years ago. Uh, everybody's got a rubber band laying around somewhere. If you don't, a piece of masking tape or anything can get that job done for you. Okay, at this point, we need to get our mainspring out. So I'm going to find a very small uh, Allen wrench here any kind of dental pick or anything will work. I am going to press down on the mainspring cap and take some of that tension off. Got to be very careful here. You'll shoot everything across the room. I'm going to push that pin out and then I'm going to gently and slowly remove the pressure. At this point, I'm going to take my mainspring and mainspring, mainspring cap out going to put the new mainspring. I'm going to put this 19 pound back in my gun, but you might find that yours is a, a 17 uh, or what have you. I'm going to put the cap back on it. I'm going to pull the bottom cap out. This is the one uh, that holds this um, um, mainspring housing pin in place in the bottom. And that's the assembly. I'm going to slide that right back in here. Oh, also while you've got this out, this is a good time to take a cotton swab and clean any grit or debris that might be in there out. I happen to notice when I turn my fingers toward the camera that my gun is pretty filthy. 
It's the mark of using it. I make no apologies for that. At this point, we're going to carefully and gently again depress the spring and slide the pin in. At this point, I want to tilt my muzzle toward the sky, allowing my hammer strut to fall all the way to the rear. And I'm going to push this up until it makes contact. Now I'm going to depress it just a little bit with my thumb. Notice I'm squeezing the top of the slide and the bottom of the pistol. Tap it in. Take my punch. Sure it up flush. Sometimes you'll feel or hear uh, that plunger pop into that recess. At that point, we'll remove our third hand, the rubber band, and we'll put our grips back on. You don't have to watch me put those grips back on. We'll finish that later. This is how you replace the mainspring in your 1911. If you have any question, if you ever have light strikes, uh, if you ever want to know um, what we recommend, feel free to give us a call, 800-387-4045 or check out our website at www.shootersconnection.com. Thanks.